Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel. We will continue our series about insomnia and we will see how we can use the sleep in our own advantage. You see, sleep was always undervalued and underrated. Many of us, in fact, we have a strange relation with sleep. If we look onto it since childhood, We'll try to chase away the sleeping time, to play more, to have more fun. As teenagers or youngs, youngsters, we would give up sleep for sometimes last-minute work or late parties. Sleep was considered a waste of time. As young adults, we will associate sleep with the night time, with darkness, with the coldness. We somehow consider during sleep to be more vulnerable or to have less control. Sleep was associated with the yin part of our life, considering yin and yang, negativity and positivity active side being the yang and less active restful side being the yin was the sleep when we were less in control when we were less creative and when we were having less enjoyment but actually if we look closer we'll see that into sickness people tend to sleep more actually sleep it's quite curative because during that longer sleep we will recover and we will wake up more energized. If we continue to explore the sleep, we'll see that sometimes in life, when we are into difficult times and we need to start from scratch, sleep will help us build a new beginning. All our brain activity during the day, during the active period, is concentrated into the conscient part of the brain that works hard. And if we get involved into this activity, in finding solutions, in developing new systems, all this is taken, all this load, all this brain load, is taken during the sleep, during the night, into unconscious part of the brain. So while the conscious part rests, the unconscious, which, is, which has been proven to be more powerful than the conscious part, finds new solutions, elaborates more, and builds up. So, it's actually a continuity of the daytime activity into a more profound part of the brain that will resonate, that will reflect and amplify all our activities. So when we wake up, we will we wake up like a new person, metamorphosed, exactly like the caterpillar passes through and it becomes a butterfly. So every morning after a good sleep, we are like rebirth, reborn, coming from a new, new state, new level. We are upgraded. So we can make a sleep a good friend and our best ally. We only need to know how to use it and then to give up much consideration, to prepare for it and to embrace it. And as soon as we are upgraded, as soon as we conquer new levels, as soon as we are able to perform better, we will notice that our body will become more balanced, we stabilize at around six hours of sleep. When our health is it's at its best and we are balanced emotionally, financially, with life in general, sleep can also decrease to five hours per circadian cycle. So don't be afraid to let our body act naturally. Embrace sleep as a medicine, embrace sleep as a 
solutions founder, embrace sleep as a riddle solver, embrace sleep as a physical and mentally builder. Let everything turn up naturally. Do not do not think that stimulants, that outside substances will help. Sleep is there to help us, to build us up and to pass us through, through difficult times and to bring us to new levels to enhance our life. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best and enjoy life. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please hit the like button. And if you already subscribed, beside the subscribe button there's a small bell. Click and you'll be updated with all my videos about meditation, chakra, karma and well-being stories. Enjoy life together. Thank you.